was in high school, I think I was a third year by that time, 14 or 15, I really thought that I will be getting married at the age of 23 because my mother actually gave birth to me when she was 23. And guess what? The only thing that I am getting is coffee every morning. And I am not complaining at all. <laughs> by the time that you're watching this, it's actually October 16 and it's my birthday. Yay! I'm 23. Finally? No, I'm getting older. <laughs> For today's video, guys, I will be sharing with you the 23 people who actually made an impact in my life and made me the woman that I am today. So please do finish the video as you will learn a lot of things from these people and I do have a birthday giveaway at the end of this video. So please watch out for that because it's in collaboration with Shop Solasta and Skinmate Philippines. So without any further ado, let's start the 23 people. Let's start knowing them. And this is in no particular order. Let's start. Number one, Bebe. Don't let others' decision be your delay. It was October last year when I finally decided to go and study in Australia. And Bebet is one of the people who actually inspired me to go there and learn myself there outside the Philippines. And upon lodging my visa, she told me that she won't come with me in Australia anymore. And that time I was so devastated and sad because I'm gonna go there in capital letters alone. But she mentioned this. Don't let others' decision be your delay. And it actually hits me. If it's your dream, do it. And don't let others' decision be your delay. After all, it's your future. Number two, Pat. Alam mo kasi, ang problema sa atin, masyado tayo nagmamadali. I am always on the run and I want my dreams to come true overnight. But newsflash, Nika, nothing happens overnight. We'll get there but not as fast as we think. But we'll get there. We will get there. Number three, Harley. I just really hope that you know what you're doing. Harley is my low-key best friend since we were in high school. We don't see each other often, but we're always there for each other. And the moment that he told me this, I actually snapped back into reality and, uh, and told myself to actually be mindful of my decisions and all of the things that I want to do in my life. And you should do. Number four, Via. Hoy, sumama ka naman para magkaroon ng kulay yung bakasyon mo. I can still remember the days that she asked me out and then I said, No, 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 I'm not gonna go out. And she's one of the consistent people who actually invites me even though she knows that I don't wanna go out. That line made me realize to always spend time with people because we'll never know when the next pandemic's gonna happen. So after COVID, go see people, hug them, Make memories while you still can. Number five, Bianca. It's a struggle to get the very best out of ourselves. Pero at the same time, we still find the courage to do it. And I think that's brave. If gusto mo umiyak, sulat mo lahat sa notes mo. It helps. Just don't give up on it. Dreams do happen if you choose to. No need to explain. She knows me very well. She knows how to calm me in every situation. Number six, Carlo. Ayoko kasi talagang maging empleyado habang buhay. Same, Carlo. Same. <laughs> I don't really wanna sit in my desk 24-7 making other people rich. I wanna go out. I wanna enjoy my life. And Carlo actually taught me how to manage my finances and how to invest in stock market. And I guess, guys, you actually need at least one person in your life who will teach you how to manage your finances. Because financial stability is important. Number seven, Kathleen. Ngayon lang ako naging broke sa buong buhay ko. Lo, asaka. Kathleen is probably one of the most humble people that I met. She is really, really humble. She is very talented and she will tell you that she's not. She has more than enough and then she will tell you that she doesn't. And I think humility is power. And that's something that I am still teaching myself up until now before the world humbles me. Number eight, Albert. If it won't matter in five years, don't waste five minutes thinking about it. I think this one is very situational, but if you think that that matter won't actually help you in the next five years, then don't spend your energy on it. Spend your energy wisely. 
deal with things wise, know your battles. Number nine, Tina. We have our days talaga, but make sure to bounce back and even higher. This is just one of the things that I learned from my very first mentor in the advertising industry. Another thing that I learned from her is that having a strong personality doesn't make you a bad person. To be honest, I can really see myself in her. She's a very, very strong person and sometimes people think that she's bad because her facade is too strong and her wall is taller than her. But in reality, she's one of the kindest and realest person I've ever met. Number 10, Tracy. Aside from Tina, Tracy made me the account executive that I am today. No verbatim phrases, but she made me realize that in a corporate setting, there's always a boss and a leader. She's my boss, but she acts as my leader and my friend. She's very humble, professional, and a very great leader, and I want to be like her someday. Number 11, Tita Loves. No verbatim phrase as well, but she made me realize that self-love is not selfish. You know why we don't really succeed? Because the doorway is for us or for you to fit through. But what we do is we carry everybody else as you. I actually heard that or watched that in one of the videos I watched in YouTube. And actually, it speaks volume. We have to learn ourselves, grow ourselves, teach ourselves. And then once we get there, that's when we come back and get the others and bring them up with us. And that's actually self-love and being selfless at the same time. Number 12. Kuya. Kuya JR, Kuya Ruel, my Kuya. Take a leap of faith. When I decided to go to Australia, the very first person I consulted with is my Kuya. Because he's a seafarer and he definitely knows how it feels like to be away from his family. I wanted to back out, really. I wanted to stay here in the Philippines. But then, he emailed me and told me that you should take a leap of faith. And after everything, he's the reason why I still believe in the higher power. And I always admire how he turns over his life onto him. And yeah, take a leap of faith because we will never grow in our comfort zones. Number 13, Maxine, my not so little sister. Mama Yana, alam ko na yan. When we were young, we are not allowed to say Mama Yana because it's like delaying or postponing chores. But then when we grew up, I realized that her Mama Yana means I have a schedule, I will do that, and I will accomplish everything today. And that actually made me realize that we have a lot of things to do, but if you know how to manage your time, we will make it through. Number 14, Mama. Hindi mo madadala sa buhay ang pera mo. <laughs> this is just one of the things that I learned from her. I learned a lot from this woman. And I know you learned a lot from your mother too. But this one's really funny and true at the same time. We can bring our money with us once we die. And that actually hits me differently this year. Because I was always on the lookout for work. I want to earn more. I want to earn, 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 earn. That I actually forgot to dance and enjoy life. There's nothing wrong with earning or with wanting to earn more. But you should not always forget to make memories while you still can. So yes, make time for work. But give more time in creating memories. Number 15, Papa. Ituloy mo lang ang mga naumpisahan mo para maabot mo ang mga pangarap mo. This was actually his 2017 message to me. I'm 20 by that time. And it's been three years, but I still treasure this little phrase that he told me. That's why every time I feel like I'm giving up, every time that I feel like I'm not gonna make it, I just pause, think, and breathe. And then I continue doing it every day. Because giving up is no longer an option. Number 16, Uncle Jojo. Let me know what I can help and I will help you. Uncle Jojo is the main reason why I will be flying to Australia and be able to study there. Be able to reach my dreams while building myself. If it wasn't for him, wala yun. Wala yung plano ko sa Australia. But he helped me. And he made me realize that you have to help people even if you know that they can't help you back. And that actually speaks volume and I will forever be grateful for a blessing of a family member like him. Forever grateful. Number 17. 
Lolo, my grandfather. Kung magbibigay, thank you. Kung hindi, thank you pa rin. My grandfather taught me that the best way to pay back people is to actually say thank you. Thank you is very underrated. But trust me, just say thank you to those people who helped you. Just say, say thank you every time you receive an app from someone, whether it's big or small. Say thank you. It actually makes a lot of difference. Thank you for watching this and for keeping up with me. Number 18, Andy. I actually wrote a script for today's video. But for some reason, for some weird reason, I cannot write any script on Andy's part for today's video. I've been with this guy for seven years since we were in fourth year high school. And maybe the reason why I cannot write any is that he's a he's just a person, but he taught me a thousand lessons. And if I will be writing it all down, then this video will never end. <laughs> but if I really have to at least say one thing that I learned from him is that to be patient. And he's a very patient person. He's very patient with his plans for him. He taught me how to wait. He taught me how to be patient in life. That all of my dreams will happen. We just have to wait for the perfect moment for it to happen. Number 19, the old Dika. If there's one person who will teach me until I die, that's definitely the Nika that I was yesterday. I will be forever grateful for the Nika who didn't give up. For the Nika who made wise and stupid decisions. To the Nika who actually conquered her fears. Without the person that I am yesterday, I won't be the woman that I am today. So be thankful to yourself. Give yourself all the credits and thank yourself for developing or creating the best version of you today. And that's it! Those are actually the 19 people who made an impact in my life. Excluding myself, there's only 18 people who made an impact in my life. And I think I have yet to meet the 5 people who will be completing this list very soon. I hope this 2021 I will be meeting them. And now guys, for the most exciting part of this video, I know you have been waiting for this. I will be doing a birthday giveaway and for this giveaway, I will be choosing 3 random winners via random picker. And each winner will be receiving cargo pants or denim pants and the sizes will be arranged depending on the winners because I actually have the cargo pants with me right now and the sizes are you know talaga siya, it's 20, 24 to 30 so I will be just settling the sizes once we have the winner together with the cargo pants you will be receiving skin made products so yeah that's for the two winners and then for the last winner or for our big winner or the grand winner for the giveaway you will be receiving two pants cargo pants and denim pants skin made products plus shop solasta products worth 550 pesos plus their minimalist friendship bracelet which i am wearing right now so all you have to do guys is to subscribe of course on my channel ensure you're subscribed on my channel follow me on instagram and follow shop solasta on instagram all of the links will be down below and last but not the least comment down below your ig handle and your birthday wishes for me conceited your birthday wishes for me i just want to read notes on my birthday so that's it i hope you guys will join the giveaway you can also share this video para naman mas maraming sumali sa giveaway natin thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in my next